sadly, I would be remiss if I finished my broadcasting night without mentioning, or should I say, bitching more about the Nintendo Wii U. I register my console, I link my two accounts, all that goes relatively, relatively smooth. It takes about 24 hours for the thing to drop down and allow me to take the survey for the 160 plus coins. And to be honest with you, I don't really think I give two craps about the digital promotional thing that my Wii U Deluxe system gains me. It's so ass backwards, as is a lot of what I'm about to talk about today, and it just makes me have such a headache and facepalm and say, what happened to you, Nintendo? You used to be an innovator. Now, what is this? What did I pay for? So, okay. So I finally get all that mess sorted out, and that's not entirely Nintendo's fault, but then again with Sony and Microsoft with their registration stuff, things are usually a lot faster and easier, but I digress. Um, okay, so at the end of the day, um, I buy Paper Mario from the Virtual Console system, right? Things should be great, things should be gro groovy. I should be able to go on to my Wii U and go right to the eShop, enter in my code, because this is only available till March 10th. After that, um, I'm screwed. I mean, obviously, I have time, but at the same time, I'm like, dang it, you know, I want my game. I spent all this money on this system. You owe me a reward. I've spent my hard-earned coin on the reward. Give me my damn game. Well, I type it in, and it says, guess what? Yeah, this code is not redeem, or this code is for a product that is not yet being uh, distributed. And so I go back to the email, and the only way it talks about how to redeem my code is on the 3DS. But this is a WiiWare title. 3DS doesn't play WiiWare. Oh, and we'll get we'll get to 3DS, your accounts, your digital games, and all that in a, in a minute as well, because that's pretty damn ass backwards as well. So I call up Nintendo, you know, and they're they're friendly, they're helpful, they're all this. Guess what? You have to go into the Wii menu of the Wii U to play your digital copy and download, redeem the code of the digital copy of this game. That's right. The Wii U eShop cannot handle digital content from the Wii U, uh, from the Wii stuff. So I, I go, I redeem the code. I've got to boot up the Wii emulator every time that I want to play my digital game. It will not put it on the native Wii U menu, and I have to go through the song and dance of booting up the Wii U OS, which is still a bit slow, booting up the Wii emulator, which again is still a bit slow, and then finally, booting up my game. This is ridiculous. Now, they're saying that eventually they're working on possibly solving this with a way that you can play it without having to go into the damn Wii menu. But it, this, is, this is just like the digital redemption program for those points that I've been promised with my deluxe membership into the uh, eShop of the Wii U. It's too many damn steps for something that the competitors do so much faster, so much easier. It's just so damn backwards. Oh no, but I'm supposed to tout the 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 you know the infallibility and the innovation that is Nintendo. I'm damn near having buyer's remorse over this, but no, I'm not going to let myself get there. I've got plenty of, of uh, future titles that have yet to come out for the Wii U that I, I have in my queue right now, and I'm going to enjoy those titles uh, when they come out, and I am having some fun. But then, okay, but then get this. I go to the Wii eShop, right? I'm, down, I'm in the middle of downloading a demo for BitTrip Saga, or no, void, excuse me, bit trip void. 
and the thing flashes this 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 uh, warning, this this issue, this 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 downloadable problem, and then my system goes into damn lockdown. Now I can't access it because the Wii U gamepad, which is not entirely an unwarranted feature, switches off and cannot communicate with the Wii U. So I can't shut it off with the gamepad. I try the home button. Can't shut that off. I try t I'm sitting there holding the button for two minutes at the very least before I realize that the Wii U is not going to shut off. It's just continually spinning its wheels and I have a black screen. So I call them up again, and then they tell me, well, it's okay to, to unplug the Wii U. You won't brick it if you do this, because the Wii U can be a bit of a delicate flower when it comes to its operating system and the updates and all that. And I did do the update. Let me do due diligence to the Wii U on this. It took less than an hour. It downloaded, it installed, and I've had my functionality without much issues outside of, of course, uh, you know, the issues I'm mentioning now. Now, okay, early adopter to 3DS. I get the Ambassador program. Guess what game is up for 30 cents on the Wii U eShop? Balloon Fight. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this game, but I'm like, hey, I'd like to pad out my system. I technically own this game thanks to the Ambassador program. I can't download it onto my Wii U. Anything that I've been given on my 3DS is system specific. Now I get it. I get it. You don't want me playing multiple versions of the same game, even if it is a gift, on, you know, multiple systems. You want to get your money for your products, and I don't exactly begrudge you for that. But God Damn it. When you're treating me like Sony, when you're acting as if I'm a criminal until proven otherwise, and you're still going to put measures in place that treat me like a criminal, then what am I, what am I doing here? I've, I've seen sites with supposed emulators that can mod my system, soft mod my, my Wii U. And I'm not really wanting to go that route, but dang it. If it comes down to being treated like a criminal and doing something that some could consider criminal, maybe I'm just going to, you know, if you're going to punish me like it, what, why, why should I give you my patronage? Why should I give you my money? This makes me want to just do like I'm doing with Capcom and just buy everything that I really like of their products secondhand. Pick up a whole bunch of the Wii U library when I want to secondhand instead of actually buying it off them directly because I'm just sick of this. I got away from Sony to get away from this kind of bullcrap, and yet here we are again. Here we are still dealing with the same kind of business practices that I hate. And <sighs> why, Nintendo? Why? Why has everything got to be so damn complicated with you. Why do you have such crappily designed hardware lately? Why have you learned nothing from the launch of your 3DS system and how badly that was? And why is it that system analysts actually have a point when they say that this is not a good omen for you, Nintendo? And not just simply because it's the popular thing to kick Nintendo when it's down. There's a lot to like about the system, but there's so much more to hate about it, as well as the bullcrap that goes along with uh, everything else that, that has to do with this system. I don't care if you consider me to just simply be a hater. Hater's gonna hate and all this other crap. I'm not having an entirely fun experience with a system that's supposed to be built on nothing but fun. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not modding my systems. I'm being a legally paying customer, and I'm not feeling like I'm being valued as such. I'm not feeling like my patronage, which in many ways I really don't have, is, is not appreciated. And if it's not, then why am I paying you for this stuff? I, don't sim I certainly don't feel like I'm getting the deluxe treatment, or if this is your deluxe treatment, Nintendo, then thanks but no thanks.